predict and command cities of smart control. Um, I am Christoph Gansing, one of the curators of the conference program and artistic director of the festival. I'd like to welcome this actually stellar lineup of speakers for this topic, which is going to be dealing with something that is very much at the center actually of, of the capture all. I'm glad that we were able to pull off one event at least uh, specifically dedicated to the topic of uh, the paradigm of the smart city and ubiquitous computation in the urban realm. Um, this will be introduced a bit more in full by our moderator Ryan Bishop, who is a professor at the, uh, and, uh, at the Winchester School of Art and he's also a director of research there at the University of Southampton. Um, he's also uh, co-director of, I, I always like to say this name, the Winchester Center for Global Futures in Art, Design and Media. It's, it's a great name and I've been speaking myself two times, I think, in that series. Um, and uh, actually, Ryan is a very uh, multifaceted scholar. Uh, uh, his research includes, um, well, comes from literary studies, critical theory, uh, visual culture, urbanism, aesthetics. He's very known for his work also on critical military star studies, um, sensory perception, knowledge formation, and international sex tourism. You've also dealt with this, actually. Uh, among your latest books are Vrilio and Visual Culture from 2013, which was edited with John Armitage, uh, Comedy and Culture Critique in the American Film, uh, Otherwise Occupied, Modernist Avant-Garde Aesthetics and Contemporary Military Technology, Technicities of Perception, which was co-authored by John Phillips, 2011. Uh, a warm welcome to Ryan Bishop and the speakers, and yeah, take it away. Um, thanks a lot, Christopher, I really appreciate it. Um, I, I, we've been partnering with Transmediali for a few years now, and I'm, I'm always amazed at what um, Christopher and his team have been able to assemble. And uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank him uh, for, uh, what it, for what's been a fantastic festival. So I think let's give him a round of applause. Well done. Okay, uh, when Christopher Gansing, uh, UC Parika, Daphne Dragona, and I were initially discussing the shape and parameters of this panel within the larger rubric of Capture All, its working title was Not So Smart Cities. And something of this sense of the failure of the one-size-fits-all technophilic solution for utopian urban design, of a drive for prediction, control, and command, to realize itself remains an essential element of the work conducted by the various panelists. Ubiquitous computing, intelligent infrastructure, mixed reality environments, polyscalar remote sensing systems, all reveal an urban epistemology for thinking of futural scenarios that gripped the globe for a couple of centuries prior to the advent of digital technologies, which have intensified, repeated, and increased the stakes in our collective ambitions to dwell with others in harmony, as long as the others act in the ways we want them to act. The experience of urban living is increasing, increasingly one of a state of exception and a state of emergency, that anything can happen and likely will. How does the heroic Western narrative of the city as the beacon of democracy, civitas, collegial governance, nation-state formation, and progress survive this current set of circumstances, and should it, as a counter-narrative of fragility, vulnerability, and precarity of the urban ascends. The latter might be a useful corrective to simplistic notions of urban formations, narratives, and discursive and intellectual regimes, but it also opens the door for increased demands for data capture, tracking, surveillance, prediction and control, a fully weaponized urban landscape that smacks more fire and forget missile systems than the agora of civil governance. These are some of the frames for the issues that would be taken up by our panelists. You're here to hear them, not to hear me. And our panelists will be in the following order. Steve Graham, who is professor of Cities and Society at Newcastle University. Steve's an old friend. It's really great to see him again and, and have him here on this panel. I feel very honored. He's a leading analyst of the materiality of urbanism, especially as it manifests 
power relations. His books include Cities Under Siege, The New Militarism, Cities War and Terrorism, Disrupted Cities When Infrastructure Fails. I know he's been working on a book for, on urban verticality for Verso for some time. Some of that work has appeared in a special section called The Urban Problematic in Theory, Culture, and Society, which I co-edited with uh, John Phillips. Sarah Kember is a new friend, and she is professor of new technologies of communication at Goldsmiths, uh, which is a wonderfully vague and open title, and she's very happy about that. And in the pro she's also in the process of setting up the Goldsmiths Press. Sarah's research combines experimental prose and theory to engage with new media, technology, urbanism, gender, sexuality formations, and visual culture. Finally, Tobias Ravel, who I don't know at all. No, I'm just joking. So, uh, <laughs> he's an artist and designer. He's founder of the research company Strange Telemetry, which is a terrific name. Some of his projects include Designed Conflict Territories, Into Your Hands Are They Delivered, a nicely poetic and evocative title, and Technological Territories. So I think we've got a really nice, robust panel. The speakers will go in that order, Steve, Sarah, then Tobias. We will save the Q&A for the end, and we should have plenty of time for your cues, and I think they will have lots of A's for them. So with no further ado, uh, Steve Grimm.